What brand is huge, but you don't know a single person who buys their products? Reddit adds, who is buying all these Supreme t-shirts? Like what happened that brought you to that moment? Goop winneth Paltrow's wellness shit. It's always in the news and apparently makes money who is buying it. What are room custom sofas? I've seen them recommend on Reddit a lot, but never heard of anyone that bought them. Thinking about pulling the trigger, but it's always hard to buy a couch online without actually sitting on them. DuPont lighters, like why those prices for a flame? Lamborghini am not friends with rich people. John Deere combines. They are heavily advertised here in the Corn Belt. They used to be made in Mali, Illinois, my hometown area, but I never knew anybody who would buy one. A big new unit is over a million dollars in 2024. TIL, I live around some fancy ass people. Lovesack. Who buys these overpriced couches? I see Teslas. I just don't know anyone who owns a Tesla. Mattress Land. There's one every block in my hometown and they are always empty. Balenciaga absolutely bonkers, feels like a joke about how to extract money from mad rich people. Mont Blanc pens. I have met one person that had one and he said he got it as a gift, and it basically just sits on his desk as a display item. It gets used on the rare occasion he has to sign something. The name brand Gallons of Milk. Prime Sports Drink. Mary Kay. Better help and hello fresh. The marketing is inescapable, but I don't know a single person who wants to support these awful brands. How do they afford the marketing at this point? Edit, apologies I should have explained myself better regarding both of these companies. In the last few years it came to light through workers at HelloFresh that their treatment of their employees is allegedly deplorable, including things like safety violations, injuries, union busting, etc. This colon u 2 dot bcflqs so 4 is 18c equals 4u6rh eat bml 5 a creator has done a long-form video on claims against them specifically. Similarly BetterHelp has been accused of selling client information to social media sites such as Facebook as well as tons of false advertising claims. I thought this was bigger news than it was apparently. My apologies. Who even buys their cars from Carvana or like those car vending machine like Let's Be FR? Every single thing pushed by YouTubers. Squarespace, Brainly, HelloFresh, those garbage hoodies, their stupid coffee that gets sent to you via airmail. Does TV count? Because I haven't met anyone who watched a new episode of The Simpsons in like 20 years, but the show is still going strong. I could spend hours browsing Simpsons memes and not see any I don't get, even though I only really know the first eight seasons well.